Hey guys, welcome back. We are doing a maple leaf with a sunset inside of it. And then we're going to add a stone figure called an Anukshuk. Um, just so you know, an Anukshuk is actually a, a stone humanoid figure. It looks kind of human that Inuits have used as landmarks so that they mark areas that have good hunting grounds. Um, you can see them all over the place in northern Canada. You can see them all along the highways here in northern Ontario. Um, I've built them before and it's really, really cool. Um, they're very, very cool. You've probably seen them in a lot of Canadian photos. So I'm not measuring anything out. I'm just using my ruler for straight lines. Uh, basically with a quick maple leaf, there's three points at the top. Then there's three points on the left and three points on the right. And then they all join up into a leaf. You'll be able to see it a lot better when I paint it white. And then you can pause it and get the shape that way. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime it white with white acrylic paint and then we're going to color it. We're going to prime it white so it's going to be nice and bright to start with and then add some nice color to it. So uh, this is to celebrate Canada Day, which is coming up July 1st, um, the beginning of my holiday week with my husband. He's going to be working still on call, but we're going to be at a campground in a trailer and I'm going to be painting and the kids are going to be happy. And it's the first week of summer with kids not in school. So we're super excited for this week coming up. Um, so I wanted to celebrate Canada Day. And of course, this is for all you Canadians, um, as well as anyone else who thinks this is gorgeous when it's done. You are all welcome to paint an Anukshuk in a sunset sky inside a maple leaf. Nothing more Canadian than that. Um, except for the raptors. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I am proud of our Toronto raptors, that's for sure. I remember buying a t-shirt when I was in grade 10 or 11, and the raptors were pretty new, but I just liked the purple dinosaur that was on it. Um, the purple, the colors that they chose. Um, so I bought the shirt and I'll never forget it now. Um, anyway, on with my beautiful maple leaf here. You can start seeing the shape of it a bit better. Um, this is just a quick maple leaf. Like this isn't exact. If you go look at our maple leaves on our trees, leaves on our trees, um, you will not see this. So I'll just let you know now. This is just a quick sketch of a maple leaf because I'm not going to get all technical on everybody. It's so we can all paint this. It's not too hard. Of course, there needs to be a little stem on it. So make sure you add that little bit at the bottom. Now I've done two coats of white because my stone is so dark and it's going to go even darker when I, when I seal it. Um, so I did two nice thick coats of white paint in my maple leaf and I'm just picking sunset colors. So there's going to be a little bit of blue, a little bit of purple, a little bit of pink, a little bit of orange, a little bit of yellow. It's just going to kind of be the most beautiful, colorful sunset you could ever see, especially on Canada Day. Now I was going to do fireworks or something as well, which you can definitely add, um, but I decided to do fireworks on the July 4th tutorial that is also coming out today. As long as editing goes the way I want it to, it will also be coming out today for those of you celebrating the July 4th holiday, um, Independence Day, I believe, or I could be wrong, please correct me. Um, and I apologize, but I believe it is Independence Day. I used to sing that song when I was singing in country bars when I was younger. Uh, Independence Day was one of my favorites to sing by Martina McBride. So I am starting off by just kind of outlining the leaf a little bit so that I don't go overboard and, and mudge up my rock on the outside. Because uh, you can only fix the background if you plan on painting the background, right? Uh, sometimes you can take a little bit of nail polish remover 
and get rid of some of the paint that you've accidentally gotten on your stone, but it doesn't always come out. And stones are kind of like a bit porous and they suck up that color. So you have to be careful not to go outside the lines when you're doing this kind of uh, painting. So I've started off with blue. I'm using a sponge as usual. Um, I'm adding a different uh, colors of blue. There's like a dark blue and then a teal blue. And then I'm gonna add some purple and pink. Now you can choose whatever colors you want. If you want it to be more, uh, even more Canadian, you can do like a, a pink, or not pink, sorry, white and red. Um, just kind of blend it in like it's a, a red and white sky. Um, and that will make it a little bit more Canadian even, just to throw out some ideas there. Um, and you don't have to use these colors at all. You can make it more like um, Northern Lights, like my Northern Sky tutorial. Um, you can make it kind of look like Northern Lights and you can put trees in there and, and an Anukshuk. So it's completely up to you. Um, I recommend you look up what Anukshuks are because they're really cool. They're made of rocks. They're made of stone. So why wouldn't I do this on, on this Canada Day Rock today? Um, they're just made up of giant pieces of rock and stone and pebbles and they're all balanced so that they don't fall over and they're used as landmarks and they're, they're all over the place. Um, they're all over the place up here in Northern Ontario. So you see them everywhere you go. And, uh, it's a big part of our, our artwork up this way as well. So I thought I would try it myself. I don't think I've even painted one before. So this might be my first Inukshuk or Inuk suit. I'm not sure. I think if there's more than one, they're Inukshuk. Um, but I could be wrong. You can correct me because I am not, I'm not the brightest crayon in the box. Um, I'm just painting for you and giving you some ideas, so try not to be hurtful. Um, I'm trying to look it up, actually. Inukshuk, in the shape of a person, signifies safety, hope, and friendship, and they're used as directional markers and landmarks. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. You got to learn something about uh, what we're painting up today. And it's it's gonna be really neat. You can make them any shape you want, as long as there's like the a humanoid shape to it. So I've made my own shape with mine, but uh, you're welcome to make yours any shape you want. And we're just doing the silhouette of the Anukshuk. So it will be all black on top of the sunset color. So I have done a couple of silhouette type stones in my tutorials before, so you're probably familiar with it. Um, you just wanna make sure that once you do the black part, the silhouette part, that you are careful of what you're drawing on there because you don't wanna mess it up because it's really hard to fix a sunset. <laughs> really hard, really frustrating, especially if you've covered some of it where you shouldn't have with black paint. So be very careful that you sketch on with pencil um, your design of your silhouette, no matter what it is that you want to put here, whether it's trees or a moose head even. You could put a moose head um, with a nice giant rack on its head. You could just do a wolf head. Um, anything that reminds you of Canada, you could put in here, but I'm doing an Inukshuk, so but just make sure you're careful that you sketch out whatever it is that you want on there first. That way you don't mess up your sunset at all. So I'm just going from blue to purple. There's a bit of magenta in there, some like nice pink. Um, going to orange and then yellow. I'm gonna bring the yellow all the way down to the bottom even though we're gonna cover some of it up. Um, I'm just going to bring it all the way down anyway. So it might seem like a bit of a waste depending on what you're painting on here as a silhouette. Um, but I'm just going to bring mine down all the way and then decide from there where I want to start my silhouette from. Now I'm blending the paint in while it's wet. Um, it does not move once it's dry. 
So you might have to go over bits and pieces to blend again um, to get the desired look that you're wanting just in case it dries too fast. Um, we have a really hot day today, so um, my fans are usually on and my paint dries really fast. So if you want to work super speed, it's up to you, but you can also... Um, I, someone mentioned to me, and I hope this person is watching this video, a special spray bottle that you can get specifically for artists who are working with acrylic paint and it dries so quickly. So it's easier to blend your paint when it's wet, but apparently this spray bottle that you add water to will actually spray your painting carefully lightly in such a light mist that it doesn't hurt your paint at all and it's just enough water that you can start blending your paint again. Now if the person who's watching this knows the name of it please put it in the comments or if you know the name of it as I have not been to school for art and I don't really look for all the technical things that you can get for art. Um, I just do what I can with what I got so if you know the name of it please mention it in the comments so that others like me can maybe possibly look for it and it might be good in these months where there is fans blowing constantly. So I'm happy with my sunset. It's not perfect but I'm happy with it. To me it looks like a sky inside of a maple leaf. Um, now I'm doing like a, a little bit of a hill here. It's on a slant. It goes down a little bit. I'm not trying to make like a, a perfect line but it's just like my my Anukshik's sitting at the top of a hill in, and it's uh, looking out to the sunset. So I'm going to paint all of this part in black and just remove all that yellow that I just put in there. Once again, this part is a waste of time. If you already know where you want everything to be, you don't have to paint all the way down there if you're just going to cover it with black again. Um, but I'm just showing you what I'm doing and I didn't really know where I wanted my Anukshik to be or my hill uh, until after I finished painting the entire leaf. So that's just my way of doing things. Um, I'm also not going to put my Anukshuk in the center. My, my humanoid rock figure is going to be off to the left a little bit. Um, and uh, I just think that that's how it's going to look good. So here's one of its legs. And literally, they're just blocks of stone, like little pieces of stone that are together in the shape of a human. So there's the legs and then the torso. And then you do a little arm, like a thing to go across as arms. And then a little head and see how mine's just kind of leaning off to the side, but it's all these big boulders um, and stones that are all together holding each other up into a humanoid figure. Um, and trust me, if you ever come down my way, you will see them all along the highways up on the rock ridges and I love them. I love them. I look for them. My kids look for them. And I like seeing them. I just think it's a really cool part of uh, being in Northern Ontario and in Canada. And it's really cool. So I'm glad I was able to paint one up with you guys today and share it with you. Um, I will be leaving the paint colors that I used in the description as well as my fine lining brush that I'm using to paint all of this in. Um, you can add some glitter to the sky. I did add some nail glitter, but you can use eyeshadow or you can use uh, hologram paint as well along the whole sky and it, it just sparkles like crazy. Um, you can add stars. Um, I am outlining the whole thing in black and then I'm also going to uh, outline the black line in gold. So this time we have glitter and gold on this one. We're just going to do the outside uh, while our stone figure is drying because he's pretty soggy right now. <laughs> but notice how he's just kind of off to the side a little bit. He's not completely in the center. Um, it's kind of like someone took a picture of an Anukshuk uh, during a sunset and then they cut it out into the shape of a maple leaf. That's basically um, 
what I'm trying to get from this anyway uh, and what I'm trying to share with you guys. So I'm just using different colors of like uh, nail glitter. There's a little bit of blue, a little bit of pink, a little bit of gold. Um, and I'm just kind of smudging it on the sunset area. I'm not going overboard with it. I'm just adding a little bit of sheen, I guess you can say, a little bit of sparkle to the sky. And now I'm going to outline everything in gold. I'm going to leave the Anukshuk just a black silhouette. I'm not going to outline that with gold, um, although that's an option as well. You can outline or just highlight areas of the Anukshuk in gold so that it looks like there's a bit of sun still left in the sky and it's kind of highlighting the uh, Anukshuk up there on the hill. So I just want to wish everyone a happy Canada Day. Even if you're not Canadian, I'm still going to say it to you because that's just how I am. So I want to wish you all a happy Canada Day. I hope it's wonderful. I hope your kids are all done school and you are ready for a nice summer. Depending on where you are, it might not be summer, but my summer has begun and my kids and I are going to be spending lots of time together this summer. Hopefully we're going to be doing some painting too. You might get to see them on video. Who knows? But you're going to see this resin shortly. Everything you need to know about what I've used and what I've done and how I'm doing this is all in the description. Please click the down arrow on the right side of your screen and it will bring you to the description of my video. And I will help you the best I can. So let me know where you're from. If you're from Canada and you're celebrating this weekend, I'd love to hear where you are. Um, and I'd love to hear if you enjoyed painting this in Nookshook with me. I love you guys.